Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a Java project on email client software system. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java IDE. You can choose any IDE of your choice and a swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is my main method. I am passing an object of email class. It's a GUI form, so to create one, you need to go over here in the project package, click on new, click on swing UI designer and then click on GUI form. Two files will be generated, the .java file for the code and the .form file for the UI. Let's see our UI first. This is my panel and I have named it as event panel. You can change it and uh, let's say I have named it as mail panel. Okay. These are the text fields over here. This text field is named as send mail. This is a uh, receive mail and over here uh, is the message. This is the text area. This is a table and do not forget to add the table under the J scroll pane. These are the buttons and you can add the functionality to the button by going over to the button, right click over here and then go to create listener. To see how this UI will look, uh, right click on to this uh, UI part and go to preview option. This is uh, how uh, it will look. And uh, now let's move to the code. These imports will be automatically generated. Uh, this is our class and these fields will be generated uh, based on the values that you have entered over here. So this is a text field and named it as send mail. So over here you can see uh, it will generate this particular line private JTEX field type is JTEX field and the name is send mail. Okay. Now this is the object of JFrame class and using this object mail f in the constructor this is our constructor will be calling this set of uh, methods available uh, in the JFrame class uh, which ensures that whenever we create the object of email class this form appears onto the screen so uh, set location relative to is set to null uh, it ensures that the panel this particular frame is available onto the center of the screen otherwise it will st start from here uh, in the from the tap, top left corner and set visible it's set to true uh, so that the panel is visible and this set contained pane requires a J panel where, where we will provide this uh, name uh, which we have kept over here okay mail panel we have set the name to mail panel so you need to provide it over here and set default close operation uh, takes this as parameter and uh, uh, what it does that uh, whenever this forms up, uh, appears onto the screen it comes with the the same three options uh, with the minimize maximize and the cross button whenever a user chooses the cross button it stops the execution of the code now let's move to the functionality of the send button okay so if uh, the send mail this is the text field and receive mail text field is null or the message uh, is null okay then it pops up a message uh, with the uh, with this please fill all fields to send mail this j option pane uh, is a class which uh, has the sh uh, show message dialog okay this is the meta method and we'll pass the message else uh, what it does that uh, 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 we are uh, writing this code in the try catch block over here and this is the query insert into email this is my table name and these are the attributes over here okay and this is the syntax which you will require when you use the prepared statement to run the query now build the connection and uh, uh, now build the connection and uh, using this prepared statement method connection dot prepare statement you will pass your query to it this is the date time formatter okay so we'll format the date and the time in this particular format and we'll store it in this uh, variable now okay uh, and we'll be storing the date in this third index over here 
we'll be calling this uh, DTF dot format and pass this but uh, time current time okay we'll pass it over here and it will store it in the string format that's why I have called the set string method of uh, this statement object from the statement object at the first place okay uh, the sender email should be present so we are extracting the sender mail and storing it there and in the second column this receiver mail and we are setting it okay the message is uh, been st uh, message has been stored in the fourth column over here okay then we'll call execute update and uh, show the message email sent successfully and then uh, set all the text fields to null catch exception if there is any pop up the desired message okay this was it about the send button now let's talk about the check mail button okay so if uh, send mail dot get text is null if the user hasn't entered anything in over here so we uh, he or she cannot check the mail as if the error pops up please fail senders mail to check okay over here we'll write our mail our mail over here uh, in this text field and then it will result uh, the messages or mails sent to us else over here uh, we are running this query select all from email where receiver okay we are checking if the receiver is same as the sent mail dot get text this is the text field so uh, when a user sends a mail so uh, he or she will put the receiver's mail id over here okay so, so uh, when you receive a message so you need to check that the receiver's mail uh, column consist your uh, your email id or not okay so uh, then uh, build the connection and then use this result set to run the query and uh, we are passing this check if there is nothing into the table then show no mails received else it will run the query again store it in this variable and use this method set model and pass this particular method this method i have created on my own but instead of this method you can use dbutils dot result set to table model method and pass your result set and it will work in the same way catch exception and print the uh, result uh, and this is the mouse listener okay to add a mouse listener you need to go over here in the UI and select the table over here right click onto the table go to create listener and choose this option mouse listener what we want to do is uh, with, uh, whenever a user selects a particular row you can extract the data from it and then populate the text fields or text area okay so uh, let's say I click on to the first row so round and red can be extracted and then we can put this uh, value anywhere we want so we'll be using this do uh, table dot get model and uh, store it in this uh, variable dm of type default table model and we'll be using this uh, method get selected row to extract the uh, Say, uh, row index and then we'll be utilizing this method get value add which is present in default table model class and it requires the row and column as parameter so we'll provide the selected row whatever the user has chosen and in the third uh, column the message is there okay in the third uh, column of the table our message is present so it will extract it and then this is the text area so we will set the text over there okay okay this is it uh, let's run the code okay you can uh, see the UI let's uh, mail this uh, let's uh, take uh, an email ID as harsh okay harsh at the rate gmail.com 
and the receiver's ad, uh, mail id is let's say sneha at the rate gmail.com okay harsh and sneha Okay, this is the message. Uh, let's uh, now send this mail. Email sent successfully. Okay. Now to check the mail. So uh, you need to add the receiver's mail. Okay, she can now check the mail by entering her email id in this text field and then press this check mail okay so uh, she can get these messages uh, this is the email id of the sender, uh, sender. so harsh has uh, mailed her and this is the message and you can see the message over here present over here and uh, so the listener is working fine and this is the time okay this is the current time uh, which matches the computer clock okay okay this was it i hope you understood the working of the code thanks for watching subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas